All right, here's the second lesson on hope. I opened up to Psalm 25 in my Celebrate Recovery Bible, NIV. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Savior, and my hope is in you all day long. Psalm 25, verse 5. In principle 2, we earnestly believe that God exists, that we matter to Him, and that He has the power to help us recover. It's in this principle that we find the hope we need to start our recovery journey. The next letter in hope is P, which stands for power to change. In the past, we may have wanted to change, but been unable to do so. We couldn't free ourselves from our hurts, hang-ups, or habits. In principle two, we understand that God's power can change us and our situation. Philippians 4.13 confirms this. I can do everything through him who gives me strength. Power to change comes from God's grace. Hope draws its power from a deep trust in God, like that about which the psalmist wrote in Psalm 25.5. In principle two, we began to understand that God's power can change both ourselves and our situation. And once we tap into that power, right actions, Christ-like actions, will follow naturally as byproducts of working the principles and following the one and only higher power, Jesus Christ. We begin to understand that God wants to fill our life with his love, joy, and presence. This is impossible without faith. Hebrews 11.6 spells this out correctly, clearly. Without faith, it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. Many people today believe their doubts and doubt their beliefs. Has anyone ever seen an idea, seen love, seen faith? The reality is, though, that we can see the results of an idea. We can see the acts of faith and love. But the real things, the lasting things in the world are invisible spiritual realities.